After spending a couple of weeks back home, I came back to Washington, D.C. with a list of issues that seem to be the most important to Americans, especially those in Georgia. The number one issue is the crisis is happening at the border. We also have the concern of getting Americans back to work, getting our schools open, which fortunately in Georgia, most of our schools are open again, but across the nation, getting our children back in the schools and the continuation of the violence that we saw in 2020, the organized violence that are crippling our cities across the nation. But first on the border crisis. Now this is a crisis that's uh, self-imposed by the Biden administration. It's reminiscent of what we saw when I first came to Congress in 2015. We had caravans coming to the southern border and Obama in his administration and Democrats in Congress refused to acknowledge that it was a crisis. And that's the same thing we're seeing happen take place right now in the Biden administration, a refusal to acknowledge the crisis. I've, st I've spoken to some of my colleagues who recently visited the border and they said it is horrendous what's going on. Overcrowded conditions, we're not testing any of these illegal migrants uh, for COVID. In fact, the CDC said that these facilities should be shut down. If you're an American citizen and you visit Mexico, you cannot come back to the country without getting a COVID test. But yet we're allowing illegal immigrants to come into the nation. Right now we have about 13,000 unaccompanied minors at the southern border. This is expected to grow to over 117,000 by the end of the year. We have to address this issue. Republicans and the Trump administration addressed this issue in the last four years and had control of the southern border. But because of their eagerness to just get rid of any Trump policy, the Democrats have created a new crisis. Not only is it a national security crisis, a public safety crisis, it's a humanitarian crisis. The other issue that Americans are greatly concerned about is getting Americans back to work. I visited a rural restaurant over the past couple of weeks and the owner of the restaurant told me that she's considering shutting down the restaurant. I asked her if business was that bad and she said, no, business is great. The problem is getting their supplies because their suppliers don't have enough employees and she can't get enough employees herself. She said, even though business is as good as it's ever been, I may be forced to shut down my business. She said, because the government is paying people to stay at home more than she can afford to pay them to come to work. This is one of the issues that really has to change. But instead of addressing that issue this week, the Democrats launched a new attack on small businesses by passing a bill that will open up class action lawsuits against businesses that would restrict their ability for merit pay. In other words, paying employees who perform and are dedicated to their duty based on how well they do their job, you could be subject for a class action lawsuit if you do that under this new legislation. With these major issues, the crisis at the border, violence sweeping across our nation and crippling our cities, getting people back to work and reopening our schools, how are the Democrats in Congress and the Biden administration responding to this? Well, it's pretty consistent. Uh, a few weeks ago, they responded by trying to do a national takeover of our election system. If you see everything that went wrong in our election system, well, they want to make that national law, stripping the power away from the states. And then this week, they introduced legislation to increase the size of the Supreme Court because they're not happy with the makeup of the Supreme Court because they want it to be a political arm of the far left. And they want a court that will be majority liberals to pass their agenda, but that is not the purpose of the court. In fact, even President Biden, when he was Senator Biden, said that was a boneheaded idea. Both Justices Ginsburg and Breyer both said that this was a bad idea and it would lose the confidence of the court. You see, the court is supposed to be independent. It is only supposed to rule on the Constitution. But the Democrats are so power hungry in Washington, D.C., that they will do anything to increase their power. But I'm here standing with many of my colleagues to stop this liberal agenda because I believe our Constitution protects the rights that God has given all of us and that is worth fighting for. God has blessed America and I believe that our best days are ahead of us, but just like throughout our history, we're gonna have to fight for it. I will be here fighting for you. God bless you and God bless America.